It doesn't have to be Christmas or the North Pole. All year, there are kind-hearted toy makers working in suburban Milwaukee. These woodworkers spend weekends making old-school toys for kids in near. Kids in Need, our Milwaukee affiliate, has more. In the basement of this new Berlin store. I never knew the magic that was happening behind the scenes. You'll find equal parts imagination. So doing lots of sanding and all kinds of other stuff that woodworkers typically do. And equal parts creativity. It's literally like a workshop, a Santa's workshop. It's so beautiful. Santa's helpers don't need the holidays to do good. Two Saturdays every month, all year long. For more than 40 years. Apparently that's a crowd pleaser for the little kids. The Wisconsin Woodworkers Guild has been building toys for organizations like Sherry Swenson's. They come to us possibly on the hardest day of their family's life. Shop chairman Jeff Gretzka delivers each and every one of these toys to domestic shelters in Wisconsin. It's a quick departure. They can, you know, you can't pack up a U-Haul. It's like, okay, I've got 15 minutes to get out of here and grab the kids and go. So they're going with close to nothing. It begins with an idea. We figure out what materials we want to make things from, start cutting it into rough sizes, get it put together, and then, um, you know, kind of all the way through sanding and finishing because uh, obviously because we're making things for kids, we want to make sure first and foremost that it's safe. Toy maker Brian McDonough will then bring those ideas to life. Being able to produce something you can hold in your hand is wonderful. Being able to produce something that a child uh, can use and, and brings them joy is even more impressive. Each scrap of wood is transformed into more than just a toy. You can't question the motives of somebody who just simply wants to do something to make a child smile. For Brian and Jeff and all the other woodworkers in this room, it's a symbol of hope. Well, this is meaningful, and I maybe will never, ever meet any of the kids that benefit from it, but that doesn't make it any less meaningful. That is pretty cool. Swenson's nonprofit helps nearly 8,000 victims of domestic violence each year.